This is Mrs. Arbucci, fourth grade at Paradise Canyon. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to solve division problems using the partitioning a rectangle strategy. So this strategy is used to solve division problems that are larger than um, the basic math fact division problems that students should have memorized in fourth grade. This strategy is actually found in unit six. So let's say we have a problem um, that we're trying to solve in which the art club is making a mural. They have 98 square foot tiles and they know that they want the mural to be seven feet long. They are trying to figure out how tall it will be. So the area formula is length times width. We know in this problem that they have 98 square foot tiles and they know that they want it to be seven feet long. We do have an unknown, so I'm going to write that like this. So 98 square feet equals seven feet times an unknown. And I'll put feet here as well. So I'm going to draw my rectangle like this. Inside the rectangle, I'm going to draw the total square feet. We already know that, and that's 98 square feet. We also know that the length is 7 feet. So I'm going to write that up at the top. For this problem, we are trying to solve for the width, and that is the unknown. So, I'm going to draw another rectangle over here, and I'm going to draw dots because I'm partitioning the larger rectangle that has an area of 98 square feet, and I'm going to partition it now into different parts. In this case, I'm going to do two different parts. So. If I have my basic division facts memorized, I know that 7 times 10, I'll write that in here, oops, times 10 equals 70. 70 is less than 98, but it's getting me close to that 98. I'm going to write the 98 here, and now I'm going to subtract the 70 that I just solved for and figure out how much is left because that's what's going to go down here. 98 minus 70 gives us 28. So we're still working with one of our factors which is 7. Now we're trying to figure out 7 times what is going to give us 28 because 70 plus 28 equals our total square feet of 98. Again, if I have my division facts memorized, I know that 4 times 7 gives me exactly that much. 4 times 7 is going to give me 28. And I'm going to write my 4 here. If I add, oh, I'm sorry, going back. Now I'm going to take that 28 that I found down here and subtract, and when I get to zero, I know that I'm done. Now, we kept the one factor of seven throughout this problem, but we now have a 10 and a four as factors as well for the width. Now I need to, f I need to solve 10 plus four, and that's going to give me the unknown. 10 plus 4 is 14. So 98 equals 7 feet times 14 feet. Now, the division problem that goes with this in the division fact family, or I'm sorry, in the same fact family, if we know that 7 feet times 4 feet equals 98, we know that 98 divided by 7 equals 14. Okay, so just like when you're using the partitioning a rectangle strategy to solve multiplication problems, um, 
when you're using the same strategy for division, uh, the problem that you're working with can be an area problem like the one that I just did, but you can also use this strategy for problems that are not area problems, and that's what I'm gonna show you next. So going to the next slide. Um, let's say we have the problem, the following problem. Uh, our class needs 72 muffins for a class party. Muffins are sold in boxes of four, and we need to find out how many boxes we need. So essentially, the division problem that we're working with is 72 divided by four equals B. B is our unknown, and I just, cho I just chose B for boxes. I'm gonna write my, I'm sorry, I'm gonna draw my rectangle. I'm gonna write 72 here. The 72 is the number of muffins that we have. And I'm gonna write a four up top because they are sold in boxes of four. I'm gonna write a B on the side. That's the unknown that we're solving for. So again, if I'm a student that has my division facts uh, memorized, I would know that four times 12 equals 48. But we have a number larger than 48. What we're trying to solve for is 72. Now I'm gonna draw another rectangle, and this time I'm going to partition it. So I'm breaking the total up into parts, like this. An easy number to work with is 10. So I'm gonna put my four up here, I'm still working with the four, and I can easily solve for four times 10. That's gonna give me 40. Now I take my total of 72 muffins and I'm going to subtract the product that I just solved for. 4 times 10 is 40. I'm going to subtract it from my total of 72. 72 minus 40 is 32. Now again I have my division facts memorized so I know that 4 times eight is going to give me exactly that much. I take the 32 that I had uh, subtracted, or I'm sorry, that I got when I subtracted 40 from 72 previously, and I'm gonna subtract the 32 that I just solved for to get zero. Now, the four, 72 divided by four in order to solve for my quotient, I need to take these two numbers on the side and I need to add them together. 10 plus eight gives me 18. So that means 72 divided by four equals 18 and that is the value of the unknown. Okay, so I want you to think about the same problem, uh, the muffin problem. We still have 72 muffins and they're still sold in boxes of four and we're trying to figure out how many boxes of muffins we need to buy for our class party. So I'm gonna go to a new slide and I'm gonna write the same division problem up at the top. We're still solving for boxes. We're still going to use the partitioning a rectangle strategy, but I'm going to show you um, that partitioning the rectangle a different way will still give you the same quotient or the same answer. So my original rectangle will look the same as before. I know that I have 72 muffins all together. I know they're sold in boxes of four, and we are trying to solve um, for an unknown, which I used B for boxes. So now I'm going to think about breaking the 72 up into simpler numbers or simpler parts. Um, I like to start with 10. So I'm moving over here. I'm gonna write my four at the top because that's not going to change. 
but I'm going to start with 4 times 10 because that's just an easy number to multiply by. 4 times 10 equals 40. And that's exactly what I did with uh, the last example that I used. I take my total of 72 muffins and I subtract the 40 that I just solved for and I get 32 again. So, so far it's the same as the previous example. But instead of then multiplying the 4 by 8, this time I'm going to think about dividing the rest of this rectangle into two more parts instead of just one more part. I'm going to do 5. I take the 4 up top and I multiply it by the 5 that I just wrote down. 4 times 5, sorry this space is so small, 4 times 5 is going to give me 20. Now I subtract the 20 from the 32 that I had previously solved for. 32 minus 20 is 12. So now I need to think 4 times what is going to get me as close to 12 as possible without going over. I know that that's going to be 3. 4 times 3 equals exactly 12. And again, I need to subtract what I just solved, solved for. When I get to 0, I know that I'm done partitioning the rectangle. Now in order to solve for b, I need to take these three numbers and I need to add them together because each of those three numbers is a partial quotient of the total quotient. So 10 plus 5 plus 3 gives me 18. So 72 divided by 4 equals 18. And that is our unknown. Thanks for watching.